Hello and welcome to Topic 5 of Science 30's Physics Unit, Electromagnetic Radiation, or EMR. Electromagnetic radiation comes in many forms, um, from radio waves to gamma rays. This chart indicates a few things, um, whether or not it passes through the Earth's atmosphere. So we have radio waves do, microwaves and infrared waves don't, visible light does, and ultraviolet x-rays and gamma rays don't, primarily because of the ozone layer. The size of these things um, differ, so radio waves are about the size of buildings to human beings, then microwaves are smaller, infrared are even smaller still until we get to gamma rays and x-rays, which are as small as atomic nuclei. The frequency goes from large to small as well. Frequency is measured in hertz, and um, temperature of bodies emitting these wavelengths, so you have really hot things, um, or really cold things on this side, and hot things on this side. It's measured in kelvins, which are... Um, the primary um, unit of measurement for physics of temperature. So here are some things that we use uh, electromagnetic radiations for. Microwave Microwaves use it to heat food. Uh, ultraviolet rays from the sun. This is how we get sun tans and sunburns. Uh, infrared are heat from released from things like toasters or ovens. Uh, radio signals to TV are all electromagnetic radiation, as are power line emissions. What are some evidence for electromagnetic radiation? Sparks. Interfering with radio waves um, are one example. Uh, distortion in cell phone reception is another uh, example of electromagnetic radiation in our environment. Antenna positioning affects TV reception, and this is sort of an old school example. Um, there are no antennas anymore for television. In each case, something traveling across space induces a signal that interrupts. Um, whatever it is you want your cell phone or your TV or your radio to do. What are the origins of electromagnetic radiation? So what is it exactly? Electromagnetic ra radiation is a wave that consists of a changing electric field and a changing magnetic field. This travels at right angles to one another. So you can see in the figure below um, you have a magnetic field vector and an electric field vector, and they are at 90 degree angles to each other. Any moving charge produces electromagnetic radiation, so moving electrons produce electromagnetic radiation. <coughs> because these, sorry, because these waves um, are traveling at right angles to each other, this is called a transverse wave. A wavelength is one cycle of the wave, so it's an up and a down. An example is a crust and a trough of either um, an electric field or a magnetic field. So here is a crust, here is a trough. That is one cycle. Crest trough, quest, crest trough, that is one wavelength, and you can see it on the side here. Or you can measure it from one crest to the next. So from here to here is a wavelength, from here to here is a wavelength. A wavelength is measured in meters and represented by the symbol lambda. So that funny upside down Y is called lambda. The frequency of a wavelength is the number of cycles or um, the number of cycles per second. The frequency is measured in a unit called Hertz and it represents represented by the symbol F. So F is wavelength and lambda no F is frequency, sorry, and lambda or the upside down Y is wavelength. 
all portions of the spectrum, ordinary, light, infrared, radio, and ultraviolet are fundamentally the same. So they all have a frequency and they all have a wavelength. Um, the difference is in the frequency and the wavelength. So some have higher frequencies, some have lower frequencies, some have shorter wavelengths, some have longer wavelengths. They are waves of alternating electric and magnetic fields that move through space at the speed of light. So the speed of light is often called C and it is 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. That's 8 times around the earth in one second. You can find this information on page 3 of your Science 30 data book. How are radio waves different from x-rays. The different kinds of radiation simply have different wavelengths and frequencies. For example, visual radiation is in the middle with the wavelengths that extend from 0 0.00004 centimeters, so very um, so small, to about 0 0.00007 for the extreme red. So there's not much of a difference, but there is enough of a difference to um, have one that we can see, which is the visible radiation, and one that we can't, which is the, uh, oh, sorry, uh, <laughs> one is violet and the other is red, so that slight difference causes a difference in our perception of the color. This means that different electromagnetic radiation carries different amount of energy. So write the EMR spectrum spectrum from highest to lowest wavelength. So short wave radio is the highest wavelength. Then TV, FM, microwaves, infrared, visible, ultraviolet, x-rays, gamma rays. So as you go from one side to the other, um, you have the highest to the lowest wavelength. So these are the longest and these are the shortest. <coughs> Excuse me. High frequency equals high energy. So if you have a high frequency wavelength, you have high energy. Or high frequency equals high energy and low wavelength. The equation for wavelength and frequency of electromagnetic radiation is... V is equal to frequency times wavelength, or C, which is the speed of light, is equal to frequency times wavelength. So V is velocity. F so V is velocity, it's measured in meters per second, frequency is in hertz, wavelength is in meters. Since all electromagnetic waves travel at the speed of light, multiplying frequency times wavelength must equal 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And again, that is found on page 3 of your data book. Those um, in class, when you come to class, or if you've already been to class, we will be going through a series of practice questions uh, to work with that formula. So it's important to come to class, people. <laughs> Radio waves. The highest wavelength and the lowest frequency on the electromagnetic um, spectrum. So it's the longest wave, but it has the lowest frequency. The lowest energy, it's not usually dangerous to humans, so that's why we use it to carry um, the rockin' tunes that you listen to in your car if you don't have serious satellite radio. Like me, I don't have it. I'm kind of cheap that way. The source is the vibration of electrons with electric circuits. Within electric circuits, so within the circuits of your radio or the microphone or whatever's doing the transmitting is the um, uh, vibration of electrons. It's most commonly used for communication. For example, cell phones and radios both use radio waves. AM radio, so AM stands for amplitude modulated and it depends on the amplitude or the height of 
the waves. So that's what amplitude means is height. FM radio means frequency modulated and it depends on the frequency of the radio waves. So how fast do they come? Antennas. Why, why do you need an antenna in your car? Um, and what happens when that antenna is broken? Um, I've had several vehicles that don't have a very good working antenna and I can attest to the fact that um, that makes long car rides pretty crappy. Radio waves cannot penetrate metal so an antenna is sometimes needed. For example on a car when the electric field of a radio wave hits the antenna electrons within the antenna vibrate which help transmit the signal so it amplifies the signal. So MRI, if you have a sore back or muscle problems or whatever, um, the doctor might prescribe uh, you going to see the MRI or getting a magnetic resonance image of your body. The MRI uses radio waves and magnetic fields instead of x-rays. Therefore, it has relatively low impact on the body, so it doesn't really hurt it very much. There's a picture of an MRI of a brain. MRI is used to locate things like tumors, um, diagnose MS and epileptic lesions, as well as to see whether or not you have a bulge disc in your back if you have a backache. Power lines also emit electromagnetic radiation. The question is, is this a problem? Because we've all heard of the news. Various communities don't want these um, high energy transmission lines passing through their their communities. Cell organelles and membranes are affected by electromagnetic radiation from power lines. What are the benefits? Many technologies use electromagnetic radiation, for example, radio waves, um, radio TV, microwaves, ultrasound, power lines to homes, and magnetic um, resonance imaging, or MRI. In other words, EMR has increased our standard of living. So it's not out our, <laughs> it's our standard of living. What are the risks? Uh, leukemia has been in you've seen increased incidences of leukemia near high voltage power lines so that might be a cause a relationship we're not sure prolonged use of cell phones or other short ray wave radio may cause brain cancer we don't know electric blankets cause increase in failed pregnancy and birth defects so the electromagnetic radiation may cause 